Hey guys, Courtney here with Courtney's Customs and today I'm going to be showing you a different spin on the Dawn dish soap tumbler and it's going to be Christmas themed so it's going to be super pretty and for this one we're going to need a or I'm using at least a 20 ounce um, this is from Maker Flow Crafts and I base painted it white from Rustoleum. I'll have my link for Maker Flow Crafts in the description and then the kind of soap that we're going to use this time is still Dawn but it's the power wash soap so it comes out in like a mist if you've never used it before i highly recommend it even just for like day-to-day -day dishes i love this stuff and then i'm also going to be using um, satin apple red from rustoleum um, it doesn't really matter if it's satin or gloss or whatever because epoxy is going to go over it it's going to shine either way but um, this one just happens to be satin and then we're going to go out in my backyard um, use the water hose like I did in the previous Dawn Dish Soap Tumbler tutorial. And we're going to use water slides, and I think that's all we're going to need for it. So it's going to be really fun, pretty simple. And with all of that being said, let's get started. So I've got my Power Wash Dawn Soap, and I'm just going to pick a spot and spray a few times, just however big I want the white paint to show through immediately take my red spray paint and sorry it's pretty windy um, this was kind of hard to do and this is not you know the ideal way to spray paint a tumbler but you want to get it done as quick as you can so kind of doing it messy then as soon as you're done spray painting you want to immediately grab your water hose and just spray the entire tumbler Get all that soap off there and that's what you're left with all right so this is what we have it's nice and dry ready for the decal and this is the decal i chose i think it's super cute i got it on etsy i will make sure to link the shop um, in my description let me get my scissors go ahead and point you down here so you can see what i'm doing i'm just cutting around that black box All right, set that down in my water for a few seconds. And I'll go ahead and link up at the top. If you're new here, you can see my water slides for beginners video. If you need some helpful advice when it comes to water slide decals, it's a pretty good video, I think. It's very helpful, very detailed. And as you guys know, I print my water slides mirrored so I can put them face down. I just think it's a lot easier to apply a decal that way. I've never had one rip or anything like that when I apply it like this. So it's been a really nice little thing to learn. And I come up with another little hack I'm wanting to make a video for. I'm just trying to think of a style of tumbler to make so I can do it. But just uh, keep an eye out in the near future for another helpful little hack video. I'm super excited about it. And that's almost ready. It's moving a little bit, but I like for it to move a little bit easier so it can just slide right off with no issue. So that's good enough for me. Place the decal, of course, over the white part of the tumbler. I'm just trying to make sure it's good and straight here. Apply some pressure and see it slides right off. I love applying decals this way. Get my squeegee, get out all the wrinkles, trapped water underneath, make it nice and flat. And there we go. Look how cute. I absolutely love this. And I'm going to show you guys after this dries, um, I'm going to add the helix additive from the glitter grind i'll make sure to put my link in the description for them as well 
to give this just a little bit of a shimmer because um, I love glitter and I want to put it anywhere I can. So <laughs> I'm going to add some shimmer to this cup um, when I put it in the, or when I put the epoxy on. So once this dries, we can move on to that. So now I'm going to take Helix, which is an additive from the glitter grind. I'm just going to scoop out a little bit here with my popsicle stick. It really doesn't take much at all. A little goes a really long way. And just kind of mix that in, kind of like you would like a mica powder. And it makes such a big difference, just that little tiny bit. It this is going to be a really cool, I might do a tutorial on like a, um, like a glitter ombre cheat method maybe with something like this because after I mixed this additive into my epoxy and then epoxied this tumbler, all I had on there like you guys saw was the um, satin red paint and it really looked like I just completely... Um, glittered that tumbler in red paint so this stuff is amazing it's super pigmented and um, it's kind of hard to see on camera but it is like absolutely gorgeous it is so sparkly super pigmented I absolutely love it so I'm probably going to be using this quite a bit so after you um, put that into your epoxy you just um, coat your tumbler in epoxy like normal and then do a top coat and really quickly, I wanted to remind you guys about the app that I use to make my pictures pop. Um, I just wanted to add it in this video because it shows a lot in these pictures. This was before I used the app and then this is after. So it really makes a huge difference. It's called Color Story. I'll link the, um, I'll put the link to that video up at the top here. So if you haven't seen that video, make sure to go check that out on how I photograph my tumblers once they're finished. I absolutely love this app. It's perfect, super easy to use, and it obviously makes a huge difference when you go to take pictures of your finished tumblers. All right, so other than a few paint touch-ups that I need to work on tomorrow, I actually just didn't realize them um, because they're on the back of the cup and I was more focused on the front here with the decal. Um, but I can probably touch those up with some paint tomorrow and then add some more epoxy. But other than that, this is all I have for you for the um, Dawn Dish Soap Christmas Tumblr tutorial. So if you guys have any questions at all, as always, please feel free to comment and don't forget to subscribe. Thanks guys. Bye.